All right, guys, so we're gonna take you through how we've organized the course. We have this introduction and then an additional uh, four modules. We're gonna be releasing them to you weekly. And at the end of that week, we're gonna, you know, get together again. We're gonna do a webinar where you'll be able to, you know, have all your questions, you know, make sure you write down, get ready for them questions. Uh, you know, sometimes in, in the lesson we'll have a, a 10 minute lesson. We've got a whole team of people here working for, for these video classes. So sometimes we won't be able to say everything. We won't be able to show you all the angles here. So in the webinar, we'll, we'll be able to go further, for deeper, answer your questions. And you know, with no rush, we'll be able to be, be completing uh, whatever these video lessons might, you know, uh, miss out. Felipe is going yeah. to tell you a little bit more about... So, that's great. Um, so, hello everybody, again. Like Janaro said, we're going to have four modules. This is the first one, which is just the basic introduction. It's our welcome to you. Um, we're in the second video. We're going to have one more, which is going to... We're going to develop on why agroforestry. So, what's the point? What's in it for us? What's the benefits? Why do we believe that it is the best way to do agriculture is through agroforestry? We're sure of that. Then we're going to move on to show you some examples of systems. Because like we said, agroforestry is not a ready-made cake recipe. Okay, there are lots of variables and it's a very versatile system and you can do a lot and you can do anything you want actually you can you can grow vegetables you can grow tree, fruit trees you can grow wood you can grow animals so we're gonna show you a couple of these examples a couple of ways to work with agroforestry and then we're gonna move into the principles of agroforestry so that's the core philosophy so so what can they expect yeah. from the principles of agroforestry so basic yeah. briefing yeah well, basically something we're going to be coming back to on a regular basis is basically we we believe in promoting life in the soil okay this is this is something i'll always be coming back to and it's you know the more we can promote life in the soil using the techniques we're going to show you uh the more we have the biodiversity and we can get to the you know the original organic we can really we can really be or, organic uh promoting life with the soil so uh, as time moves on as we get better uh, life in the soil we can we can count on using less insecticides and less technologies little spray things and everything that we we're constantly using so we really want to get you off that off the off the drugstore shell and we really want to get you to promoting life and let the biodiversity uh, take care of the health of the soil and the health of the plant so uh, this is this is really going to be key for us yeah and then moving on from the principles, which is basically this core philosophy of, of agroforestry, we're going to go right into the techniques that we use in order to apply these principles, right? So we have the philosophy and then we're going to go through really, okay, so how do I actually um, do this practically? How, how, how do I apply it in practical ways in the field? So that will be our fourth module. So that's ba the basic techniques that we use in agroforestry. Stuff like covering the soil, pruning trees, um, and other things. And then moving on to that, we're gonna then finish the course in our last module, which will, will be an actual um, practical activity where we're gonna show you and guide you through the whole process from the beginning, choosing the place, the spot where we're going to plant, uh, which fertilizers we're going to use up to the actual planting. And what else can they expect in this last module? Yeah, so basically we're going to be producing an area. We're really going to plant from zero. We're going to get an area which is, you know, very acidic soil, very sandy soil with not that much structure. And this is where we're going to show you uh, this is where we're going to plant with you. This is where we're going to show you, you know, how to put in, where to put in, and, uh, and things like that. Uh, we we we've decided to to in this area 
split it into different uh, styles, different uh, techniques for each yeah. bed. So we're gonna have like a vegetable bed for people that are, are producing more veg. We're gonna have a grass system for people producing grass for the animals. We're gonna have a fruit system. So we're gonna try to do a little bit of each. And uh, so, you know, we can try reach out to you and, and, and let you decide how you want to work, you know, understanding uh, these different principles. Yeah, basically we just want to show to you that it's really up to you how you're going to build up your agroforestry. There is no recipe. You can work in a variety of ways, but the principles are the same. If you're going to be a grass producer for your animals, the principle is the same. If you're going to be a vegetable grower, the principles are the same. The techniques are very similar with some minor adjustments. So yeah, that's basically the idea of us dividing this and, and, and showing you different models. Yeah, we're also going to be talking about the economic side of things, you know. Of course. Uh, it's very important for us, you know, like I live off this. You know, I gotta send my, my daughter, you know, here. We, we haven't got that many good public schools. So, you know, I really need to make this a living. So this is very important for us as well. Okay. So we want to show you that you can be prosperous. You know, you can exactly. make a living. You can come to the field and, uh, and take care of your family through these practices. And we believe that agroforestry is not only um, the best way to recover your soil and to improve your soil but it is the most efficient system financially speaking because you produce more in the same area with the same amount of manure with the same amount of rain so it's basically an optimization of processes but all this we're going to cover more thoroughly in the next chapters in the next modules yeah uh, just adding to that so we're using with the same amount of manure, the same amount of input, external input. Uh, but as the years go on, you have to, you're able to use less and less and less. Exactly. Because we enrich the soil, we produce more things within the, the system to... Oh look, the irrigation's coming on, it's automated. Very That's well, great. it's all working here in Situ de Jazz. So basically, uh, that's it. Let's rock and roll.